uh, episode two of LarkCast, or whatever we're calling yep, it. Yep, my name is Aaron Mastin. My name is Josh Howard. Um, Today's episode is brought to you by <laughs> us. Us. <laughs> Sponsored by our time investment. Our sh- uh, <laughs> But uh, the critically acclaimed, Grammy nominated, <laughs> Pulitzer Prize winning <laughs> debut album <Gosh. laughs> entitled the, the Glow. Glow. Oh man, have you heard this album? It's a dope album. Crazy. It is. Honestly, Crazy. I still I like I go back and listen to it every once in a while, and I'm like, it's a pretty good. I album. feel like you stole my line. I was gonna say this. I I would listen to Anderson Pack's new album two days ago, and then I was like, let me put on the Lark album, see what see how it measures see, up. Yeah, see how it stacks. I drove a couple extra miles to hear it. I was like, let me finish this out. Our songs, our song is a great start. I don't think people are going to appreciate it till nah, till, till way later, till, way till later. we're famous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but after that, <laughs> they'll be like, famous. "Whoa, those guys are just." Whew. They did this in what year? You know, in <laughs> 2019. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> early t- or, or well, late 2018. It's so early, we don't even have like a solid name. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. not the tens, is it? Uh, oh yeah, this. I guess it is. Tens. It's funny that I don't think people started calling it the tens until like. 17 <laughs> like we're like i guess this is what we're gonna call it <laughs> Tens. yeah what else what other choice do we have anyways anyway second episode yeah sec- second episode uh and what i wanted to do i wanted to tell me what we wanted to do yeah here's what we're gonna do okay. we're going to, we I, going to i wanted to like big picture just talk about like where where we came from big picture crazy so not like you know whatever not like 1994, uh, I was. <laughs> yeah, not like I was born in a in, in a burning building. You know, nothing, nothing like that. I, 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 I wanted to. Whose story starts like that? Dude, mine does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's change the plan. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, but yeah, so okay, I, big I, I, well, Like where we came from, big picture, big picture, where we're at. You know, like we're in a huge spot of transition, but we're lining up all these new things, all this mm. new content, which is super sick. And uh, and then and and you know we just recorded our second project and then but we you and I know yeah. and all the other members of the band know that we've been talking about this third CD baby <laughs> y- you know what I mean? well, we're already t- which is which won't even come out till like 2021 but 2021 yeah but uh, yeah so I want to talk about past present and future that's what we're doing today I feel like there's gonna be another project before then like there's gonna be like a mixtape underground tape some type of tape dude yeah <laughs> we can have something dude yeah we're not gonna make everybody wait that long nah nah. All right, big picture. Big picture. So where are you starting? Yeah, so so where where we came from? Where we came from? What was like the formative stuff you remember about we how we started? <laughs> how we started? Yeah. Okay, check this out. I was at um, I was at your I was at this very house two days ago, and uh, this very kitchen table. But before I was there, I was in the drive thru at Chick Fil A, and oh, right. I was looking through the window. And I saw people just enjoying their lives. And then I thought to myself, oh, shoot. That's just the place the first time I met Josh to talk about this Lark thing. The Chick-fil-A right down the road. That's right, yeah. I don't know what that means about Chick-fil-A. But the, I just remember I saw that and I was like, let me get my phone out to get this for content. I'm sure we could use it one day. Sure, yeah. And then yeah. I was like, no, I'm turning into that guy. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and I just got my chicken nuggets and came here. For those of you <laughs> who don't know, Aaron is responsible for... Our content and it's and it's gr- like it's great, it's awesome. But he's like the guy who, like, when you're walking by him, he's like, "Hey man, can you can you, can you video?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." So then he'll walk by me again. He'll be like, "Dude, just turn it sideways." So yeah, uh, like, but it's good. Like you, you know, you, you know what you want. It's good, great, which is great. Um, so when I saw that, that's why I was, that's the first time I remember you talking to me about it, and I was like, "Oh shoot." Yeah, yeah, that was a good conversation. It, and it, it was what, like, is that what you think about when you think of formative? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, I like, because at the time, we were doing stuff and we weren't telling anybody about it, and it was just me and Garrett and Jake meeting in Jake's garage, and we would just get together and play for like forty minutes straight. How many times? Did you, see, I don't even know. I wasn't even obviously. I wasn't there for those. Yeah, right. Well, how many? Like, what did you? How many shows did you guys do? How many what? How many shows or jams? How many like jam? Like how much were you guys playing? Well, really, what was happening was, you know, I had talked to them about the concept of the band, which the concept of the band for people who don't know, and and it may seem kind of like a little pretentious in some ways, but the concept I'm of pretentious. the, the, <laughs> the, con, the concept, you heard it here first. Uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, the con- you know, there were a lot of things that went into the idea of the band at the time, but a few of those things were like, what if we, um, what if, you know, because at the time, everybody, all of us, we were playing different, different styles of music, different, we were in a lot of different, you know, we were just gigging, you know? Yeah. And Knoxville. And yeah, Knoxville, shout outs. And, and that looked really different depending on what we were playing, obviously, because, you know, we, we played in churches, we played in white church, and, and, and I was playing in a black church. Yep. And then we also all played jazz, and then Jake does, like, cover band stuff. We all did cover band stuff. I've got a country gig. Mm-hmm. Garrett, at the time, I was you know. Just in school. Right, you were yeah, you were just in school, but we we were in we were on like five billion bands. Garrett was like really diving headfirst into like the um like like the avant garde or kind of out there stuff, which is kind of like leading it. With, yeah, well, yeah, locally, yeah. Town. But so part of it was like, hey, you know, we wanna we wanna write songs and we want to. Uh, part of the pitch for me for those two guys was like, hey, I want to write songs about what we're all going through, and I also want to pull. I, I want to pull from all of those creative places. You yeah. know what I mean? Like what if we you know, what if we were like write a pop song? Or not a pop song. What if we write like a normal song and then smack dab in the middle there's like a big drum solo. Yeah. And it's like a v- open drum solo, which is like something that you do on gigs, but right. it's not something that you do in something, recordings. Yeah. And let alone it that doesn't really go into like the makeup of a band that writes music with lyrics in right, it. Right, 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 right. So anyway, so we we were having all those kinds of conversations and I had a goal of you know it was like it was probably like what year is this for you 16 2016. 2016 that sounds like a long time ago it feels like a long time ago it was like it was like late 2016 yeah and, i was 22 at the time and <laughs> <laughs> uh just, just a young babe just, just a young babe uh swaddled up and anyway uh but we were <laughs> yeah but we were Chick Fil A sauce. What we were, whoa, we were, <laughs> we were meeting and playing, and and my goal was to have thirty song ideas, like anywhere from like thirty to eighty percent done. Lyrics, chords. I don't even know this. Drum grooves. Yeah, it's not really something we talk about now. But I, ha- I, my goal was like thirty song ideas, thirty concrete song ideas. Okay. Uh, before the year 2017, for this band, we weren't even meeting. We weren't even telling anybody. About yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we were doing. We were we were meeting and playing for like we would do like third. We would do like three 40 minute just sessions of whatever. This is before I was. Doing this is before you okay, were cool. even a part of the band. Okay. And okay. Uh, and then I would go through and I would listen to those 40 minute segments and I would wait for like the five measures that were st- like knocked out of the park and I would be like. There it is. Yeah. That's the song idea. Uh-huh. And so and so most of our original song ideas were pulled from those. Yeah. In like, you know, like small increments right, and then right, I would right. build on those. So so that was what was going on with us. So then so then we you know, I was like honestly just like thinking and praying about who to ask yeah. to be a part of it who would kind of like understand and be willing to like do it because, you know, mm-hmm. it was it was really wide open and So uh, this, is, this is the thing I don't know. Did you were you listening looking for a lead singer or a keyboard player? Or were you looking for somebody that was going to do both? When I, I when I talked time. to you the first yeah. time? Mmm, got him. Good, got me, <laughs> dude. Good question. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you were looking for a lead singer because you asked me if I could do like singing stuff. I don't know if you already knew that and you were asking me. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. So it must have been just keys. Yeah, you just wanted me to play keys. Yeah, and then we started talking about singing, and you were like, I sing. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something that I never tell anybody. For, that's true, for some yeah. Reason, now I never, knowing him, yeah. he literally doesn't tell that to people. Yeah, I never, I never tell people. Well, see, the weird thing about that convo was that whenever... Because, and here's why. When you tell people that you sing, the first thing they say is... Sing something. Sing something for me. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> if you're never good, what Aaron And then wants. if you're good, yeah, yeah. yeah then yeah. if you're good, you can never... Especially, like, in... Like the scene that we were in, yeah. it's like everybody's like, "Oh, you're playing the keys on a gig on piano. Can you like Can sing, you a song, sing something?" Man? I'm yeah, just like I don't want to. Yeah, sing these songs. That, that's <laughs> the weird thing about 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 Knoxville, the town, is that like there's in a way there's a super thriving scene. Yeah, no, in, it's great. But then in another way, you know, like if I can't call Aaron to play keys for a gig. <laughs> And I can't call like one or two other people, then it's like I got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there are other aren't other keyboard players in Knoxville. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but like there's nobody that I'm I want to well, that play was the that thing. gig. Bef- right, right before Same with singers. That's what right I was before you say. asked me to to well, we kind of met up or whatever. Send me a Facebook message. I was like in like a lot of bands, and I like was like. I just right, felt, yeah. I was like, man, I'm gonna quit all of these. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I felt like I should have. Yeah. And which was not a good decision for me in my head because I wasn't doing anything else but that. I was working at a grocery store, but I was like making all my money playing shows, and I was like sure, playing yeah. a lot. Right. Like 2016 was like when I played the most. Yeah. And uh, then you hit me like right after I quit all of my bands, and you were like, "Hey, I have this project," and I was like, "Yeah." I'll <laughs> This uh, sounds like something which I is wanted. cool. Which yeah, is cool. yeah, yeah. So I think it, in some ways it was kind of like. And I was excited because you wanted to be a part of the songwriting. Yeah. Like with that was one of the things that you said. You know, you were like. I don't even remember. Yeah, you were in that in that meeting. You were like, it, we just started talking about like who writes the songs, and I was like, yeah. well, right now it's just me, and and I was like, but if we get another singer or whatever. You know, whatever, and and you were like, you were like, oh well, you know, I'd like to help out with that also, and I was like, oh, and I think we even had a conversation. I was like, because, because I mean, this all, I mean, you know me now, so it like makes sense. Yeah, yeah But yeah, like yeah. the same way that like there are certain types of musicians that I don't want to play gigs with, mm-hmm. there's certain types of writers I don't yeah. want to write with, and so I think that's for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. If yeah. you had to tell somebody like, hey, I want you to know the deepest, dark, deepest, darkest things that, that that I think about. Yeah, and put them on paper and. Yeah, you don't want somebody that's going to be like... Yeah, you don't want to yeah, be somebody yeah. that... Yeah. Yeah. But, it's a personal thing. Yeah, it is extremely personal. And so... And it was cool because you... Because I said I'm like... Because I said... Yeah, no, because you're great. But but also... <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely humble. But... <laughs> you're, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Um, but yeah, like... Oh, man. I, I threw out... I was like, well, these are the kinds of songs I want to write. And you were like... Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you were telling me you were like, "Hey, I want to just like, I I can't remember the exact words you were saying, but it was something like along the lines of you wanted to use sounds in in, in unconventional ways." Yeah, like or just consider that. Yeah, yeah, like con- I don't know. Yeah. Maybe well, that was the hard part. Is like I wanted to have all these ingredients on the table to write music, mm-hmm. but there's so many people who. You know, it's like just because they have ginger, they're going to try to put ginger in every recipe, on mm. every sandwich, on every... You know what mm. I'm saying? That's ginger. what I was trying not to do. I didn't want to be yeah. like... You don't want to be like, oh, well, let's be cool. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. I don't want to be like, let's be that band that puts drum solos <laughs> in every song. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, we're not really. And I'm glad we're not. Yeah, I'm glad we're not too. But anyway... So, next, so the next step for that was then your three-person your three person jam started turning into four-person Right, yeah, that's right. And I think we we did like two with me. Really? That was it? Yeah, it was only two because it was like it was at a point where like I was gonna go home. My parents lived in Huntsville at the time, and um, uh, I I was gonna. It was like Christmas and it was a big break, and it was gonna be like it was just a lot going on. So like we did one and then we did another one, and then you were like, "Yo, I want to do a demo by February." (laughs) Yeah. And we were like, "What?" (laughs) This was 2017. Uh. I mean, we don't have to like get into that, but like, it was pretty quick after I got on. Yeah, yeah, I think you're. Yeah, I think you're right. I yeah. think that was like really. Still fast. wasn't telling anybody. Yeah, right. Still like, not that it was like, not that people wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People were like, "Dude, I heard, you know, uh, give me that stuff." Yeah, you know, they're not like, you know, uh, yeah, that was yeah, that was kind of crazy, like. That was a neat time. Honestly, making those demos was really interesting. I don't know if anybody will ever hear them. There's another version of Dynamite that Somebody's gonna crushes. Hear I was listening to... Uh, I mean, I love our version. I was listening to another podcast that we're not going to name, but they were talking about <laughs> Questlove, get at me. No, there was... <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about how Prince has this, uh, this like, this, like, buildings uh, yeah. of, like, rehearsals and, like, demos and all these, like, stuff from, like, 80s and stuff like that. And there's gonna be like a ton of live stuff that's like that. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. Like those thirty. Remember those thirty, like those thirty demos that we made, or yeah. that we had, like ideas. Oh yeah, like nobody's ever gonna hear those. No, no, no. Unless no, they no. come out on our new thing that we're doing on Instagram. Yeah, probably. But um, yeah, probably not. Yeah, well, not anymore now, cause, cause Garrett always <laughs> bags on my <laughs> on my scratch tracks. I love your scratch tracks. <laughs> there's a certain charm to him. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's very raw and raw. Yeah, <laughs> that's the word you came up. With. <laughs> yeah, um, but but yeah. So so then you know we did the demos, which is cool, and and uh, once we got done with those, we, it was kind of like we were like, well, because I, I remember we played a gig and we played those three songs. Oh yeah, the demo was three songs. Yeah, the demo was only three songs. We we played. Well, but the those weird thing songs. is, why do we even do a demo? <laughs> Who makes a demo? <laughs> 29. I don't know. 28. It was 2017. I don't know. Maybe there was like on the off chance they were all like killed. They all like killed and we could just put them online or something. I don't know. We didn't even have a name. We with the, with name. the first gig we ever played, we, we played it under a different name. I don't even know the name. What was the oh, name? me neither. I don't know. I don't know either. But but it was like, but part of the reason we didn't decide on a name then was so we could play those three songs and just see how they were in public. I think they went, that went well, but I don't think that really made, I think we're getting a little too narrow, but like, <laughs> <laughs> the, the the show went well. Well, the thing I remember walking away was like, God, we need more music. <laughs> <laughs> you went into the show thinking this is enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't really that. I think what I expected. I think what I expected was was previously previously in other bands I I had been in the. The new or like original music really faded in the background, and all the covers were the things that everybody remembered from those gigs. Yeah, but our gig had the opposite. Like, oh, I remember that was a jam session that we played. In. Oh, Garrett hosted a jam session at at Prez Pub, and we were just like, he was like, "Hey, do you guys want to do it?" Got it. And okay. so we were jamming the whole time. Right, right. Yeah. And then we played those tunes, and, played and they those... hit way harder. Yeah. Than our jams did. Which, uh, which was unexpected to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's um, roll with it. <laughs> I just thought the fact that there was a structured song out of all of those like vamps, then people would have been like, "Oh, this is way better." I mean, whatever the reason, my takeaway was like, <laughs> "We need more music." <laughs> <laughs> we need more music. <laughs> um, I got it. So anyway, so then, so then, fast forward like a year. You recorded an album in Nashville. Yeah. Well, you wrote. Well, that was the it was summer of. It wasn't last summer. Seventeen. Wow. Two thousand seventeen. Goodness. Summer of two thousand seventeen. Jake and well, this is when Garrett had already moved to Los Angeles, and um, Garrett and and Josh would come to my house like once or twice a week. Jake and Josh. What did I say? Garrett. And Josh. Oh my bad. Jake and Josh. Yeah. Isn't that a TV show? That's Drake and Josh. Oh, I didn't have cable. Maybe. So I've heard. I don't know. <laughs> There's a new show called Jake and Josh. Check it out. <laughs> like YouTube. Ch- Anyways. No. Um, you would, y'all, y'all would come to my, my apartment every week, and we just like wrote for the whole summer. Yeah. And we did it consistently. What the yeah. weird thing was, it's normally any musicians I'm watching this are going to know, it's so hard to get people together consistently. Mm-hmm. But we were meeting. And in, it was like in the middle of the day. Yeah. We were meeting like in the middle of the day. And writing really consistently, and it was it was like going well, which was cool. We wrote the whole album. Yeah, we wrote the whole album. Mm-hmm. Um, Garrett came in like in March of a few times. Twenty eighteen. Oh yeah, March of twenty eighteen. We rehearsed it <laughs> once, maybe twice. Yeah, the maybe. whole album. Yeah, and then we went to Nashville, drove to Nashville, and had a really long day. It's, it's like it was like eleven hours, twelve hours, easily. Yeah, it was like it was like that, and then we recorded the whole album. And and then we, you know we did the overdubs of the vocals and stuff later, but it was like oh yeah, yeah I forgot about that. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool doing that because I, I remember that time fondly because it was like it felt like the first time I've been in a billion bands. You've been mm-hmm. in a billion bands. It was like the first time when everybody like was heading the same direction. Yeah, we we felt like we were on the same cool. page, even yeah. though I didn't really know like what what, what this was gonna be. I didn't know what this was going to be. Even the songs we were writing, I'm like, do these make sense together? Right. You know, we cut some songs. Obviously, we cut some songs and stuff like that. But it was like, what is this going to be like? And yeah, I mean, as I said earlier, critically acclaimed, <laughs> Grammy nominated, Pulitzer Prize Pulitzer winning. Prize. <laughs> <laughs> debut album. Go check it out. <laughs> Available on all streaming platforms. Right. right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we did that. We did that. We did that. 
We did that. We recorded that in. <laughs> did we do it though? <laughs> we did that. Uh, <laughs> we recorded that in March of 2018. It released in November. Yeah. Of 2018. Which actually is not a bad turnaround time. Yeah. It felt way longer. I'm trying to tell you, man, we're good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know, man. I like to work fast, so maybe that's at the time it felt like that's good, like eons. But but yeah, it was. That was nice. That that was nice. We the the album came out and it did what it was supposed to do, mm-hmm. which was get a reaction. That was literally all it was supposed to do was for somebody to actually like it or to actually hate it. Yeah. To not just have a billion people that were like, it came out. Hey man, <laughs> nice job. Or like yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that was the thing I didn't want. I just wanted like dislikes and likes. I wanted no. I, this is what I want. I wanted dislikes, and I wanted. Yeah, you always want dislikes. That's oh, your you thing. always do. Always do. If you if you want to get a rise out of Josh, just say something on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> say something on the YouTube. Comment. Please. I'm Preferably down. on our channel. Yes. <laughs> yes. Please. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was just it was just to like have an effect, and there were and there were people. There were some people that were like. <laughs> some people were like, you guys are the most exciting band. I'm you, you're, you guys are like the band I've been the most excited about in Knoxville in a really long time. Mm-hmm. Somebody was like, all of your songs sound different. They don't make sense together. Another person, oh, yeah. another person was like, all of your songs sound exactly the same. I can't tell them apart. <laughs> That's the one that puzzles me. Uh, None I mean, of our songs sound the same. Well, I get, I get what he, I got what he was saying because he was saying, what? because well, they all sound weird. They no, all... no, no. It was like, it was like, and I underestimated, somebody told me this a long time ago and I underestimated it. Like, since we're all players and we're all playing the same, those songs, yeah. there's certain like personalities that are always going to be present. And I think that person was like detecting the personality. Oh. You know what I mean? Is that the guy? <laughs> say it. Dude. Me, I'm just kidding. Should I say it? I don't know. I mean, I could always, edit, the guy I could was always like, edit it out. Yeah, you could always edit it out. But he was <laughs> like, man, you're just so soulful in like all the songs. Oh, like, no, no, no. That wasn't that person. <laughs> I'll be honest. I love the person that said that. Oh my god! I hate it when people say that. <laughs> Tell me why. Because. <laughs> because why? Because they're like, you're so soulful, which really just means <laughs> the pigment of your skin <laughs> is a little bit darker than everybody else's. I know. I know that's where this is going. Well, there's only one way for it to go. Uh, right. I want everybody to go listen to I, art song. Not that I don't agree. I don't. Not that I don't agree with you. It's just funny. I want everybody to listen to art song track number one, and I want you to hear. I want you to like give me the what is it the like number the sh- what is it called what when you like type the number in YouTube like you type what? the number to like go to this point oh oh like a timestamp give me the timestamp to where you're like oh yeah this is here's when Aaron the, got here's soul. the soul this is when Aaron got soulful <laughs> insert soul at yeah. minute twenty one go listen to the glow the n- title track of the album. And, I, and 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 and, and yeah. give me the time step of when you think that I sound. Oh, there's soul. the soul. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the the important part was it got a reaction, which, it did. Is, which is what we it wanted. Did. It did. Um, because whenever you're anybody who's making content knows that if, if what you're doing gets an it gets an honest reaction, whether it's negative or positive, mm-hmm. that you're doing something not right, but you're doing something effectively. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Either you're like really tanking it <laughs> uh-huh. or you're doing something or you're doing something well or something like that you know you're doing something effectively whether it's good or bad yeah so like, where's the big picture in for you well not in but you were saying like you're saying you want to get like a full scope What's oh like yeah well okay that kind of brings us into the present right okay, yeah so like after that we had this kind of our second we had the second project that we just recorded uh that was two months ago now, man. Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah it feels a lot longer ago. But mm-hmm. but we it, we were working on it for such a long time. Mm-hmm. The whole concept of the of the thing was like, we were working on it before we released our yeah before we released yeah. our first to, album. To me, I, and I'm super guilty of this in in the band and in the music when we're writing. Like, I move on quickly because I have to sit with those songs for so long. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. And so like, I'm having that problem with the project right now. I'm right. Like, yeah. Like, I'm like. There's still stuff we need to finish on this one, and I'm thinking about like, the oh, you know, it'd be dope if we did this. And right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This content idea. Yeah. yeah. But but so you know, at that point, I was the first CD had just come out. I was still like tirelessly working on <laughs> scratch tracks that were gonna get made fun of and stuff like that, and and uh, <laughs> and like. You know, so everybody was like, "Hey, man, just heard your album." I was, and in my mind, and I was like. 
Yeah, it's been it's been around forever. <laughs> it's been around it's since like the second year, years. dude. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever. But it wasn't. It was yeah, like the first month. For we them. even announced that we were a band like four months ago. Right. Yeah, and then we were like surprised. <laughs> uh, but it was cool. It was like all of that. All I know that I, I already look back on that time fondly. And, and it yeah, was, me, it too. Was awesome. me too. Anyway, so me too. We're, we're, we were working on end of last year. We were working on the second project. There had there had been murmurings of a big move that might happen, mm-hmm. uh, and and we were we were kind of like <laughs> heard about it in the corner, right? Yeah, and we were kind of like just a little something around town, right? I'm sorry, keep going. No, you're fine. <laughs> uh, but we were, you know, we were, we were talking about we were just planning on the second project. Yeah, like that's all I was thinking about at the time. Because well, because one a. It was and is expensive. <laughs> yes. So that was like a whole part of it was just like yeah. we had to raise. And it was different. Yeah, it was different. It was a different project. It is going to be different. Mm-hmm. For, for people who don't know, there's like a whole visual aspect, right? Like Aaron had this whole idea for like a movie aspect of it that mm-hmm. went along with it. And so that was obviously something I had never done before. Me and, neither. Right, yeah. <laughs> and so we were suddenly in a position where we were doing that. Yeah. And so just having to put that together and schedule all these things and – Mm-hmm. Figure out a way to ask a billion people for money, and which which update we met a goal, and we 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 got to a certain point, and we have everything paid for up to a certain point. Yeah. Now all of our money is just going to the to like the post production, which is like editing, mixing, mastering, and all that happen. stuff. Yeah, so happen. it's cool because we're in like the home stretch. Home stretch. Even you know we're in like the last you know the last year of <laughs> production. Mm-hmm. Um, when we when the person listen. When people listen to this podcast five years from now, and they're going to be like, oh, shoot, they were worried about, <laughs> not that I'm worried about it, but, but they were like trying to like raise this amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, it's not going to make any sense, but yeah. that's what I'm telling you, man. Consistency. Yeah, that's that was, the key. That was weird. Um, and then into the present now, uh, surprise, my family is, we're all moving out to L.A. Yep. Um which is sick. You're moving. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. So it's like we're in this whole thing, and 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 we've been all we've been th- talking about lately um, is like content. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like what kind of content, and yeah, where that's going to come from, and things like that. So what we're planning on doing, to, you talk about talk about like your concept for the, you want you want our content to be like different channels, yeah, and different the, networks, well, or whatever I, it was. I just I feel like it's like like the future of content or the future of the the internet or the future of like how people are going to consume content Mm -hmm. is through youtube one um not that not that that's not already happening right now in 2019 yeah but but it's the way they consume yeah that's what you're talking about like our youtube channel is like a network like it's like the lark network yeah and we're gonna have different shows on that yeah and 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 the way that i even think about it is like i don't even want to like necessarily be tied to youtube because I don't want that platform to be like. <laughs> this if is that, it. Yeah, if that goes, then yeah, like well, not that it's going anywhere, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. you, want, you want to have your own, be able to have our yeah, own right. platform. But yeah, basically just have like a network, and we can create our own shows and our own own content and, yeah. and facilitate this stuff ourselves. You know, yeah. things that would have cost like. Like what we're doing right now is what people used to do on the radio. You know yeah, because I mean? like, they would have to go to the city every. You know, every time they would do a show, they're going to a city to announce where they're playing and what what right. they're doing, and try to connect with people that don't even listen to them. Yeah, and we're doing that on a regular basis. Yeah, with all the different platforms, and so basically, it's just like, how can we just kind of conquer each platform? Yeah, um, I don't know if that made all the sense. No, of the I think it did too. I, I think I think it's cool. Like you know, as of right now, we've got only vlogs up. Mm-hmm. Right, and those vlogs are just like little periods and little gigs that we've done. Yeah, and big gigs too. I mean, you know, it's all meaningful. But like, that's all like kind of in the past, like a retrospective. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, and it's and it's and it's curated. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good point. But this, you know, this is like you know, so that's like one channel. Yep. This channel is like this is like the candid channel. Yeah. Show. Yeah. <laughs> you know what show, I mean? Yeah. Like we're go- we we want to talk about on this podcast. We want to talk about stuff we're doing. We want to talk about um, everybody in this band is like really good about talking about music in like some type of philo- philosophical way. Yeah, and like when we're on the road and we're like, you know, drive. We're just talking about albums. We're talking about how people listen to music and how they consume yeah. music and like just like all these ideas about, you know, just how we 
I don't know. I just said consume already, but just how we like experience this thing. And I think we all have super cool ideas about it. And I think it should be talked about as well as just like our personal experiences. Like how cool would it have been to have a podcast from like. That's like, like, for example, I th- like I, I always get super attached to people in bands, but their personalities. Like, yeah, for sure. I get attached to their content for sure, but just like everybody. But, you know, it's the personalities that I, I like. I'll tune into people's videos just to watch. Somebody. It's hard. It's hard for me to get into an artist until I watch the interviews. Dude, yeah. If oh, I don't watch the interviews, 100%. yeah, it's like. Well, That's they why everybody play. loves comedians. Exactly. That's all comedians have. Exactly. <laughs> That's all they have is a personality, <laughs> which is not totally, person. which yeah, is not yeah. totally true. But, yeah. um, but that's like that's like on display all the time. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Um. So like that was the idea from this for this. For, whew, that was the i that was the idea for this. Uh, this show, channel, whatever. Yeah, you and call it. and also we were talking about this earlier. Like, you know, one thing that we're gonna start doing is streaming on Twitch. Yep. Um, which is cool because anybody who watches Twitch normally watches it for video games. We feel like those are really big untapped yeah, scene. Man. Listen, I'm. I'm saying it right now, <laughs> even though he doesn't believe me. We're the first internet band. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't believe you, but it's very cool that you're saying that. Even though there's a band called the Internet that's sick, <laughs> but, but we're, the, we're the first. We're but I, I think I think what you're what you're saying is, and I think this is true. Is I'm glad you didn't say what you're trying to say. Is there? <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> is there is not a band that has capitalized. Not 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 made a monopoly. Yeah, but there's yeah, not yeah. really a band that's capitalized in every social media place. Yeah. Like Twitch, yeah. Patreon, Snapchat, Instagram. I'm like, sure there is a band that has a podcast, but what band has a podcast? Sure. Right. Yeah. No, right. But I think I think I think it's one thing to do something and it's another thing to do something super intentionally. Yeah, 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 or intentionally. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I say that. But yeah, so so that's one thing is I think what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start doing I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch more um, just like me practicing and stuff like that. But I think, um, but I think as a band and as like personalities in a band, we're going to start streaming on Twitch in some capacity a lot more mm-hmm. on our way to gigs, post gigs, something people always talk about, yep. something musicians know, but other people don't is we, is after every gig, we sit around and we talk about like the gig, <laughs> we talk, we talk about the gig. Like yeah. every musician knows that that's like, that's part of the gig is you sit around and talk about it. But, like um, stand in alleys and, yeah, in uh, rooms, you know. Right. <laughs> stay at at the bar afterwards, or whatever, and you just right. talk about what, what happened. I can't tell you how many homeless people we've met, <laughs> <laughs> just sitting around after a gig how outside many talking. People you've spoken to their lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But but like it's the it's the truth though, you know. Yeah. yeah so no. so we want to start we want to start showing that part of a band, mm-hmm. uh, in all its guts and glory. You yeah, know? and Which I, I think it's cool. I would love if. Bands that I love did that. Like I would, me too. Like I would pay money to 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 listen to Anderson Pack talk to the talk yes. to this band seven talk years to the ago. Nationals. Yeah, a while seven ago. Seven years ago. Yes, yes. and like, listen to them all be like. Here's a secret. Well, it's probably not a secret, but if you go on Questlove's, it's like a secret. It's not a secret page, but it's not his main page. But he has another page, and he has videos from like eleven years ago. That's so sick. Is yeah, he has videos from like eleven years ago where he was with like. Pharrell and the Neptunes Dude, and Hugo so or Chad Hugo yeah. and they're like making these songs and it's like what? Yeah. <laughs> you know he's like driving around New York City That's and so it's literally sick. just him in like a flip phone really bad quality <laughs> but it's great. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. Get at us quest love. <laughs> yeah. yeah James Poyser just in the background just killing on keys. That's and nuts stuff. dude. Yeah so like uh, That's crazy. Yeah, like what if we had like a what if D'Angelo was doing a podcast after shows? Oh my gosh! And then Dave Chappelle all of a sudden just like because you know they were cool back then, right? They're just like what Dave Chappelle's in the car or you know or in the <sighs> back. That'd room. be so sick. You know what I'm saying? Like this, nothing special. Like. You know, it doesn't have to be like, well, let's that's do deal. a show. That's it's the just, deal. let's it's talk. Like, everybody's used to the special stuff. Like that Beyonce movie just came out yesterday. Yep. As of right now. Yeah. It came out yesterday. Uh, we, Hannah and I watched it. My I wife watched and I watched it. it. I watched it. You watched it. Like, the whole world watched yeah, it. Yeah, everybody. That's everybody, all the special stuff. That's, everybody that's, yeah, watched yeah, right. it. <laughs> that's all the special stuff. Like, yeah. and we, and I love it. Yeah. Like we watched it because we love Beyonce. I, I love yeah. it. I liked it. Um, but like, like we were talking about this though, like, yeah. like all the behind the scenes footage, like was killer. It was yeah. Great. Yeah. And we wish that there was more of that in the movie. Yeah. I wanted to see that. Like she said, she ran out three sound stages. I wanted to see, I wanted three to see stages. the, I mean, they showed like a, a, like a, 
yeah, aerial like a, view like a wide of it. Shot, but I wanted yeah. to see like, okay, what was the band talking about? Yes. Like who arranged? Right, exactly. Who arranged? That's the that's the not special stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's that, the not that's the stuff that we want to. Exactly. Want to show. But I don't know. Does regular people care about that? I think so. I think that's part of being invested in. See, I think that's the thing. Like everybody can identify with putting work into something and seeing it through. Yes. Everybody I think can that's, identify. And I think that. that's. Honestly, I think that's what they do. Uh, I think I, that's how they pitch Beyonce. Dude, Hannah and I, I say Hannah and I, we love trashy TV. Like, everybody <laughs> knows that about us. We'll watch rea- any reality show you throw at us. Everyone in the book, we're watching it. And it, part it's, of it is because, like, this part of it is nostalgia. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we grew up in the in the yeah, in the yeah, era yeah. of like in li- of like the real Bro, world. I used to world. watch Baldwin Hills. Did you watch that? No, I never watched that. That was like the black version. Of, like, <laughs> it's like a nice part of like L.A. Uh-huh. It's like how oh, Baldwin Hills, such a good show. Right. So, so there's there's like something about like <laughs> that type of television is popular now for sure. But it was like in its infancy when we were all growing up. Yeah. And so it's that that like just like terrible television in that way is, you know, really. Do you think the next version of like that is me. like super live? Like, like yes. like before it was like scripted, or before it was like it was like sitcom. Yeah. The next like, version. This is not real the next, at all. Dude, the next version is, oh, you got it. then it was like, then it was like, it was like, Oh, we're going to make these things that are like more hit home that we all can relate to. Right. And it was like, Oh, okay. Then it was reality television, you know, now like people are live streaming and that's like a thing. Yeah. Like I watched this video, this, this YouTube channel of this, this bike, this guy who rides a bike through neighborhoods. That's all he does. He just rides his bike through that's neighborhoods. Sick. That's neighborhoods, sick. and it's it's so good. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. Cause in, and every time I try to rec- recommend it to somebody, they're like, "So what is he doing?" I'm like, "He just, just has a GoPro, <laughs> and he <laughs> and rides he through rides. neighborhoods in LA. <laughs> that's, all, that's all he does. He goes so through good dope. neighborhoods, bad neighborhoods. Like just does just doesn't do tricks. Nothing. <laughs> like he's not, he, he can't just even do tricks. Dude. He's just riding. I'm saying like, yeah. What if Prince did that? Dude, yes. Which brings us back around. That's good. Yeah, that's that's so that's our goal with like this type of the first internet band <laughs> <laughs> is like the you heard it here first. Uh, <laughs> nah. But like that's 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 your goal, and now by extension, now our goal as a band with yeah. this kind of content yeah. uh, is like candidly and like showing the not special stuff. Mm-hmm. Podcasts like this is a little bit different. Yeah. Um, but I think the stuff that we're aiming to talk about is. Is very like exactly. You know what I'm saying. So for the people that are on board right now, salute to them because they're already listening. Yeah. For the people that are coming back to listen to stuff, I mess with you too. Yeah. Yo, what's up from the past? Thanks. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, "What's up from the past?" Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> 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 that's the let's go. Let's make that the name for the next. Uh, Short song. The next, like, okay. All right, yeah. What's up? Okay, yeah. So, talk about that form of content too, because we're doing, we're starting to do something else. Really, yeah. Soon. We're doing these things where it's like songs that are super short, mm-hmm. like a minute thirty seconds, like yeah. a minute. And we're gonna put them on Instagram. And it's just like rough drafts. Like it's like the idea is not to create this super polished thing. Yeah. The idea is like, you know, reference tracks. Like yeah. we still gotta figure out a good name for that. But just like, what about reference tracks? That's what I was thinking. Nice. They just call it reference tracks. I think it's good. <laughs> I, mean, I think we should do like, you know. Internally, we call it like one minute music. That's yeah, what, yeah. In, internally, that's what we call. But it's it. never one minute. Yeah, yeah. But I was thinking like we should do like call it reference tracks, and then every time we do it, like do like one slash one hundred, like or however many we were planning on doing. Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you. Just so like people can like feel like. Oh yeah, they can like see the timeline. See like the timeline. And yeah, like, yeah, that's cool. And we're gonna get better at it. As, you know. Yeah. It's. Since we're doing it all in house and we're not like we're not sending it off to somebody else to mix and master, exactly. Like, hopefully, you'll be able to see like every level of the production. Exactly. And in the in the videos that we do. With right. It. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So so I'm you know, we are. That's cool. We are soon. We're soon. We're going to start turning out this content uh, consistently. The goal is like we do the one minute music. We do the reference tracks once a week. Mm-hmm. And then we do every other week. We do a vlog. We do one week, and then we do the podcast, podcast the, next the next week. week. Yeah. So that's the goal is is to have is to have like I guess that would make it like six pieces of content, yes. six pieces of like bigger content. Yeah. Um, 
not related to anything that has to do with actually being a band. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Not having to do with like actual songwriting and playing yeah, gigs and things like that. Playing gigs and setting up tours. And but it's like exciting because, you know, you're moving somewhere else before you're coming to LA. Yeah. Wait, can I say that? Yeah, you can say it. Okay. Yeah, say. <laughs> well, it's too late now. <laughs> um, but you're moving somewhere else before you're coming to LA. So, so like, we're going to have this period of time where, like, I'm going to be really focusing on my social media stuff and, like, practicing certain things yeah. and putting that out there online. At the same time, we're going to be ramping up this LARC content, which is going to be sick. Yeah. So that way, when next year comes around or when it, when you move, we have the new project coming out when you move. Yeah. You're moving. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then like, you know, just having that solid is going to be, we're yeah, going to be in a totally yeah, different place. Be, hopefully. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. And the, the crazy thing is, is we're going to be able to talk about it this whole time. Yeah. Yeah, and share it with people. Exactly. You know, like share, you know, every step of the way. Exactly. Um, and we and we already know. Like we have a bunch of people that are like that are secretly, you know, wishing for our downfall. Yeah. I'm into it. Come talk to me. <laughs> That's about what I'm it. saying. Get a reaction. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> I'm into it. Come talk to me about That's it. That's true. We have also we've... I've heard the rumors. That's what I was gonna say. I'm, yeah, I've heard what you've been saying. It's That's cool. It, which is crazy. You know, it's it's we're, we're like such a small band. <laughs> and people are already But like, people are already hating on yeah, us. Which is cool. great. That's like it. that's what we want. I love it. And not even in like a, I love it. I want to prove you wrong. I, I just love you, man. I love it because I want to prove you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool okay, of you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's make them even matter. What's 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 going to be happening in ten years? Yo, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Ten years. First of all, how old are you right now? I'm almost turning thirty. Is that your industry age? Huh? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I got. It. I don't care what people ten think. Years, That's fine. That's fine. Ten years from now, it'll be forty. Ten years from now, I'll be turning forty. Crazy. Uh, honestly, ten years. Lark and Lark Productions. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be way big, way big. We're gonna have a ton of people involved. We want to put something that we always talk about is like making connections with other artists. Yeah. We want to put a bunch of artists on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something we all like. And that's something we all feel passionate about. Is like helping people with projects, helping people realize their goals. You know, like that, yeah. like kind of, I mean, we wrote song. we wrote songs about that. Exactly. <laughs> Dynamite <laughs> is literally about what, it, about being a person who is on fire and how that spreads to every person around exactly. you. Exactly. That's literally what exactly. the song is about. So that's, what I'm, like, that's what I'm saying. All the people that are like, I don't really mess with them. It's okay, bro. Just hang, just hang. Yeah, like, bro. We'll see you. I got you. We'll see you, you in five years. <laughs> see you in five no, years. No, I'm saying the, di- like the, the fight, like, like you said, the Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you're here. I would just Blah. be competitive. I would just be competitive with somebody who doesn't is not even here right now. Yep. Anyway. No, I'm just I'm just saying, man. This no, is you're right. Be, so ten years, I'm gonna be thirty four. I'm what does that even look like? Well, ten years ten years I'm gonna be like comfortably a sex symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, yeah. Dude, this is not even a joke. Ten like, years is a long time. Ten years is a long time. Ten years is gonna be like five years. I've been really killing it. Right. You know? Yeah. So, so let's talk about let's talk about the future then. Let's talk. About let's talk about like the the future as in like our our like three year three to five year plan. Okay. Which is a conversation that I hope every band has. Exactly. That yeah. a ton of bands have for sure, but that I hope every artist has. With the people around them, is like, where do I want to be in five years? Five year plan. Five year plan. Five year plan. Like making a plan. What are you doing today? To right to contribute to that. Yeah, yeah. So, so what what do you want to be doing in this next, th- you know, three to five years from now? Where do, where do you want Lark to be? Or where do you see us? Um. So, my goal, and I've told you this, and I've told everybody else in the band this, is I'm trying to build up like our equity. Like, what are we worth? Yeah. So, whenever we get to a point where we want to like make deals or we want to be make do partnerships or things like that. We have leverage yeah. to make those steps happen. Like that's good. You guys are listening. Everybody that's, you know, supporting us and like not just supporting us, just enjoying the stuff that we're making. Like mm-hmm. we're trying to make good stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we have <coughs> something to leverage. Uh, that's good. That's where I want us to be in three years where it's like, you know what? And it goes beyond cloud, right? Yeah. It, it has nothing to do with yeah. it. has nothing to do with cloud. Right. It has everything to do with like, just business. Just how well, I just want to say, because I, w- I want to point that out because, like, okay. it's easy to say, like, we need to have some measurable amount of fame. Yeah. Which is way different than what you're saying, but yeah. I feel like it could be misconstrued that way. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, no. Well, I don't know what you mean. 
can you talk about that? Yeah, like like you're saying like like I think some people when you say like okay, what does your five year plan look like or whatever? I think some people will think like okay, I just want to be I want to have played in front of this many people. Oh, I yeah. want to I want to have done th- these tours. Even though I think those are things that are definitely in yeah. our three to five year plan. Oh yeah, like for sure. uh, I but like you know th- that's the stuff that I want to have accomplished, and that's what I want to be able to offer is my is my my numbers my numbers of people fortunate you know? fortunately at a young age i was able to like play in front of like a lot of people like my first tour was 19 which is late for some people but my first tour was 19 and i was playing in front of like 2000 3000 people and it was like oh this doesn't mean anything yeah You're just like, That's <laughs> it's it. like i'm still broke you know what i mean <laughs> right i still have no money yeah you know what I mean? cardi b you know she was talking she was like yo i got a million followers but i still don't have money stuff doesn't mean anything right if you can't use it yeah to you know leverage yeah. that's leverage yeah that's so, good so like I, like i don't really care about record deals i don't really care about all that stuff what i care about is like having like power and leverage to yeah to do that so i think we can do that in three years if we're like think, grind yeah. at the at the you know what we've said we're gonna do yeah let's do that yeah. you know what i mean and then like i guess in three years i would really want to have like like a tour around like a, the nation where i feel comfortable yeah headlining totally and being like that we're not just you know that we're playing like sizable venues yeah yeah, yeah which i guess Depending on what kind of music we're making, then yeah, you know, we'll look exactly. Different, but a little different. So. Um, but just to be able to have support around the country to be able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. That's the that's the goal for me. Yeah. What's the cool thing is like the way you get there is the thing that we already like doing, which is forming relationships and exactly and like giving back. Yeah, there's so many other those. stuff that we ha- like plan to do in cities when we're there, and you know, that just we as people will do. You yeah. Know? Just because. So, just yeah. because. Yeah. So. Uh, I was thinking about that like I was thinking about that the other day I was driving my car and I was like man I would love to be able to be in a position where I have enough influence in a situation where I can I can like introduce somebody to somebody else that they've always wanted to meet yeah you know what I'm saying like that would be sick not just like I would feel good about myself but I'm saying like Although I probably would, but like, but like, yeah, that's not that's what like, it's that's about. That's how like, it works. Like, yeah. we'll keep. I don't want to cut you off. I mean, you got what I was. That's saying. how. That's how it works. Like, if you don't like, you asked me a, a while back. Like, why are you always trying to like put people like put people on call yeah. people for gigs that may not necessarily be there yet? It's like I just want them to like have that feeling and understand like not understand, but just be exposed to it. You know yeah. what I mean? And just giving, giving yeah. is like giving is what like. It, it makes me feel really good. Sure. So if I can't, I mean, that's what I want to do. And I don't want to wait till I'm at a certain level. I want to be able to do that on the level that I have influence right now. Dude, honestly, for me, shout out to this basketball player who everybody already knows. But LeBron the, James. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little guy who really made it, you know. So, no, nah. uh, this basketball player named The Professor, his yeah. content is so good. Yeah. But it blew me away because I watched this video a while ago of, him going into this jail cell, this jail cell, this, this oh, yeah, prison. Saw, yeah, people, I think this going one. into this prison. This is a video that everybody saw because they must have like put the funding behind the video because everybody, yeah, everybody saw it. Everybody saw it. But but it was like you know he goes into this prison and he's just playing one on one with these people and uh, smashing them. By yeah, the way, right? yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> that's the whole point. Like breaking their legs. Like like you know it's not even a competition. But the crazy thing is, is they do, you know, he's just, he's just playing one-on-one. The games are, the ga- there's no way the games last more than 20 minutes. Yep. And then uh, they do these confessional kind of like interviews with people afterwards, and they show these sound bites, and people are just like, yo, I've been in here for this many years, and just him coming here just gives me so much hope. And yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> like, no, like, no shame to him at all. But I think, I think, like, what I was doing was I was undervaluing how much being excellent at something and and kind of like giving back in that kind of way like artistically like yeah because you know basketball that basketball is like an art for him right like yeah, it goes yeah, past yeah. being a skill yeah you know he's offering it artistically to these people and he's just he's just giving it to him he just shows up and says like yo let's let's play here it is that's what it like take it for what it's worth right and it impacts him in a huge way and so I, that was like a huge wake-up call for me it's like i you know because i think it's it's hard 
to be like, how do I make content that affects people? <laughs> how do I yeah. make art that is going to affect somebody's life? Right. You know, that's like, that's like, there's no answer. Yeah. But I think what the cool thing about that video is like, you just go up there and you just do it. You just do it. Yeah. You just do it. You grind it. And, and it's, and if, if you're excellent at it and your, your motives, you know, like your, it sounds kind of like Disney-ish, but if you're, if you're pure of heart, you know, but if, <laughs> no, if, for if, sure. if what you're offering is like, is like sincere, you know, it's going to have a profound effect on somebody. Yeah. You know, you and I could both, and most people I know in the world could list off movies, paintings, music that has affected poems exactly. that has affected us in like a really crazy way. Exactly. And there's no telling what it actually took, how much it took or how little it took to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. Yeah. My, 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 my motto for like last year and it's you know which was good for me which was like make what you can with what you have it's like yo i don't have like is that in your book yes it is in my book let's go yes be on the lookout (laughs) be on the lookout you heard it here first (laughs) literally this time coming for you (laughs) quest (laughs) love dude please keep please keep trying to beef with with quest (laughs) love in like in like the most loving way possible (laughs) Uh, I can't wait to be with Questlove. No, 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 no. So, um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's like <laughs> on the same lines. Like, I don't uh, have like a bunch of money, but when I can, like, give it, give some, and I can, yeah, do that. You know what I mean? Practice now for whenever I'm getting to that level where I absolutely, can, absolutely. You know, it's you know, Hannah. There's something Hannah and I. Hannah's my wife. I'm just gonna keep saying her name. She's so, Something. Yeah, she's sick. Something Hannah and I always say when we come in contact with <laughs> with people who have a lot of money or have a lot of means, mm-hmm. we always say this. We're like, we're not going to be those rich people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to be those rich people who are super stingy. We're not going to be those rich people. Like, and part of it is like, part of it is like, yeah, we're just reacting to like being a little surprised that somebody who has a lot won't give a little. Yeah. But then the other part of it is like, we're that's like a mental rep we're doing. Yep. You know what I mean? We're saying yep. it like we're speaking it into the future so that when we have those means, we that kind of like that like mantra is already practiced. And I think what what, yeah. what usually happens to people like they don't start off from not giving anything to people. No, I'm, no, I'm sure. I think so. what happens is like they get taken advantage I don't, of. I don't think that's who they are on the inside. No, no, no. Like no me neither. Down, you know? I think what happens is you get taken advantage of and you're like, this shouldn't happen again. I wonder if this is good. Let me check. <laughs> that's what suck of it, dude. <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do, man. This is gonna be a part of the. Yeah, this is gonna be a part of it. This is something you know. Yeah. Everybody has. You know, yeah. Moments. We have moments. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. And we're back. Did you back. see that that uh, that like kind of all their Fallon sketch when it was on Saturday Night Live? The only thing I remember about it was he kept going, and we're back. <laughs> anyway. That was a way better TV show than Tonight's show. Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Oh, or not Saturday Night Live. Uh, oh. Uh, I thought you were talking about. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about. Dude, yeah, I like night. the Tonight Show. Really? I, I'll go to bat for it. Yeah, I think I'll, you're the only one. I'll, 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 <laughs> damn. I'll, <laughs> I'll go to bat for it because. Well, uh, let's, look up, let's look up the ten, the, the Tonight Show's weekly list. Because, because, here's, because here's why. I think that what Jimmy Fallon is doing now and has been doing, like when he started the talk, like doing his thing, he is making a new model for talk show hosts. Which is? Which is, he is like, not exactly an everyman, mm-hmm. but he's like, he's like, okay, you know, you know, it's a good podcast when you're listening and you're, you're listening and you're going like, man, I wish I was in that conversation, right? Yeah. That's what Jimmy Fallon does for talk show hosts. No, yeah. I, I don't think people before people may have watched it and been like, man, I wish I was in the room when that was happening. But I, I, I would be, I would be surprised if somebody talked about like watching, you know, Jay Leno or Conan or something like that. And be, and being like, man, I wish I was up there on stage with those guys. That's just not the way, not because what they're doing is not inviting, but because right. what they're doing, that's not the way they're presenting it. I can't wait till I'm saying that's I can't what wait Fallon's doing. And post, I think it's great. I can't wait till late night post Donald Trump. <laughs> it's so annoying. To me. Oh, yeah. I see what you're <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah. To me. Dude, well, it all, on, on, on Fallon, it started because, like, he used to not say that much. Yeah. And then there was, like, those, those tweets or something that Donald Trump did where they were, like, he was, like, calling out. 
talk show host, and I think he named Fallon and and like NBC. <laughs> yeah, Fallon. And, and then NBC. ever since then, like they He's do been... way more Trump stuff. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh, I don't watch it. I do. Um, here's the late night. Here's the late night ratings race. We have Stephen Colbert at the top. Then you have Jimmy Fallon. Then Jimmy Kimmel. Then Seth Meyers. See, Kimmel's the one I don't like. Then James Corden. Then Trevor Noah. Then Carson Daly. <laughs> I forgot Carson Daly had a show. Yeah, me too. Um, why do we always go? <laughs> we have a vlog about <laughs> about Conan O'Brien. How do we always get on talk shows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Check that vlog out. Episode it's well, it's something that's <laughs> it's something that's extremely relevant to and and dying. You think so? Yeah. Who watches those? Well, yeah, I think the content is shifting yeah. to like online, like what we're yeah, doing now. Yeah. Um, anyway, also, nobody wants to hear actors talk to Jimmy Fallon. I because they're not going to say anything. They're just going to make up some story. They're going to be like, "Yo, this is like." See, okay, okay, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree. Although, let me, I, let me it's, say, it's curated content, yeah. right? It's curated content, yeah. right? And so, because of that, there's like a certain, like, part of it that's very like. Like disingenuous, ungenuine. Yeah. How do you say that? There's a certain part of it that's like that is like, all right, I, I get it. They plan this, but I think what Fallon brings to the table okay. is it's the little in between things that feel more like like you know he'll like make the jokes, he'll laugh at what they say, like yeah. he he'll talk about these kind of like you know kind of like sideways like goofy things that are just like kind of skin deep sometimes, it's and then and then really deep other times. But that's like the real part of what's happening, and so. In my opinion, uh-huh. for the first time in a while, Conan did this too in a really different way. Yeah, you know, where, whereas he's he was like kind of cut to the core sometimes. And and the cool part about that is you watch it and you go like, ah, he got him, Conan got him that time. Like like you watch you watch. I think yeah. when I watch Fallon, and I never watched Conan so I can't really. Okay, well that was a part of it. And and w- when I watch Fallon, like. I I watch them and I go like oh, I'd like to be in that conversation. <laughs> the thing that I like, I, I, I want to play beer like, pong with the them. You know what I mean? Like, my favorite late night person was Dave Letterman. Really? Yeah, I really like David Letterman. See, I, think I just I just missed it. It was just after me. Right. It was before me. Well, I guess I'm younger than you. So. No, I know that, but I'm saying like, even in the things that I like, like like whenever I watch like Letterman stuff, I'm like, guys, is old. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like the thing that I liked about Letterman is that it seemed like a chess match each time. Like it seemed like, you know, like like Jimmy 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 Fallon loves everybody. David Letterman could hate you, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and okay, I, I and see. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of like endearing. It's like going back and forth to see who can like yeah, say yeah. the like like not edgiest thing, but say the thing that will like put the other person in an awkward position and it's like back and forth and back. And yeah. Forth. That's yeah, the thing yeah. I liked about Dave Letterman that nobody else really does except Jimmy Kimmel. But Jimmy Kimmel just Kimmel does <laughs> do that sometimes because he was like, he was like, you know, making jabs at Jay Leno and all that stuff yeah. was happening. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's true. That's true. He's just not consistent enough. Yeah. I think that's the deal for me is like, also his set like still looks weird. Watching. I don't know what it is about his set, but his set looks weird. Okay, this is what we need to do. We need a timestamp below <laughs> our video. If you don't want to listen to us talk about us, you want to listen to us talk about something else. You know what we should do? Press this. We fast should. forward to this. <laughs> we, you know what we should do? What? We should, as soon as the video originally cuts out, we should just put, uh, like, just keep our audio, but just Jimmy, <laughs> just Jimmy Fallon <laughs> episode. <laughs> <laughs> like no audio is just going. And everybody's going to be like, why is why that they do that? going? And then if they <laughs> wait around the whole they time, they'll be like, yeah, ah. only the people that wait long enough will oh, oh, we'll no. get it. And in the comment section, only people will say like, I waited. That's all you have to say. <laughs> Don't say anything else, but I waited. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm done to do something like that. Yeah. Anyway. I, I like Fallon. That was my bottom line. I told you one of my one of my that's like on my bucket list of things is like play on Fallon. Oh really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I've told me. bands before that I played in like, hey, whenever you <laughs> whenever you go to play on Fallon, fire your bass player for that night, <laughs> and bring me on. I the, the, I really wanted. I I don't really care about. Well, let me, Jimmy. I care about you. But what I'm saying is, uh, he does. Jimmy, he does. <laughs> he, he, he's told me before. He's made comments to me before about like, uh, no, 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 Dave Letterman. I'm trying to be on Dave Letterman. All right, all right. I'm trying to make Dave Letterman make a comeback. Now he's doing this really 
good show on Netflix where he's actually <laughs> asking show. questions that he wants. Yeah, but I wanna, that is, I that is be, a good show. It is, it is. I thought I you were making be, a joke. I want to be back on that stage and I want to be like, yeah, Dave, so I was walking my dog last week <laughs> and funny thing, something, something, then I saw Kate Winslet and, you know, <laughs> just like a totally made up story. And then he's going to say something smart and I want to be like, what does the audience think? And they're going to say, yeah. They're going to like, what? And then, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. We're trying to affect people on a <laughs> personal way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking us out. Aaron's checking his text. Yeah, I just got a really disappointing text. <laughs> Dang. All right, well, now I got to go console Aaron, so we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.